Hey guys, what is up? It is Crimson Rings here, and today is January 9th, and this is vlog number five. Uh, today, I don't really have a plan for today, but it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna have a conversation with you guys, and you're gonna get to know me a little bit better, and I'm hopefully gonna get to know you a little bit better. I love when you guys comment, um, no matter what it is, you know, if you're a subscriber, make sure to comment so I know who you are, and yeah, I just wanna get connected with you guys, and hopefully have a good time. Inception. What would be really cool is if I edited this scene somehow, so whenever my reflection moved, it was something different than what I was doing. So it was it maybe it's like walking towards me right now and like, oh, that'd be kind of cool. I'm not that good at editing though. I'm just like, I like snipping things together and kind of making go to the beat of music. That's kind of my style. Um, and like color grading and stuff like that, which I'm still kind of getting the hang of. I know the whole like blue yellow split thing, but I'm kind of working on perfecting that. If you guys are interested at all in what I'm taking this semester, I'm taking a materials class, a physics class for um, a requirement. It's kind of lame. And I don't really like physics, but I took it in high school, so it shouldn't be too hard. Uh, so yeah, I'm taking that. And I'm also taking um, my construction documents class, which is basically just kind of like how to read construction documents and like the drawings and everything, and kind of how to like problem solve and think on your feet in the field. Um, and that has a lab as well as physics, so that's kind of lame. But um, and then to top it all off, I have a architecture structures class, which I don't know what they call it architecture because it's basically just like equation based, like engineering, like structural engineering. So I have to do that as well this semester. So only four classes, but then I have two labs. So it's whatever. Um, I'm excited for the semester and all that it has to bring. And I hope to do as well as I did last semester because this last semester I was so proud of myself and so proud of all my friends as well because all my friends aced all their classes and yeah, it's just been a really good semester and kind of overall year for everybody, you know? I'm appreciative of that and all the opportunities I've been given this last semester. So I am really hoping to bring you guys along for those opportunities and when I live in Seattle this summer, I will take you along and I will show you around and I will explore the city and maybe by next summer maybe I'll have more subscribers and maybe I can you know meet up with some other vloggers in Seattle that'd be super cool if I could find some other Seattle vloggers and kind of meet up with them and do like a collab or something you know so if you guys know of any popular Seattle vloggers then let me know and yeah that'd be just really cool kind of getting to know other people in the same that have the same interests as you you know the first day of the new semester when everybody is glad to be back with all their friends and kind of tired of being home, you know, just because, you know, like you love your family, but you want to have your own place. So you come back and you're like, yeah, I'm ready for the new class. I'm ready to learn. I'm going to read every chapter and do all the quizzes and just like everything. You know, I'm going to be an A student. And then three weeks goes by and you're like, I think I'm okay with like a B. And then another three weeks goes by and you're like, I think C's are pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. This actually, this actually this last semester, I did better than any other semester. I got actually all A's, so I'm super happy about that. I'm a construction management major uh, for all you guys. Um, I highly recommend the field. It's a lot of fun and it's a super rewarding field too. Uh, not only in terms of like money or anything like that. And you're basically just improving the well-being of society by being a part of this field. And really, you know, innovating and being, you know, with engineers and architects and building roadways, bridges, you know, high-rise buildings, it's all there and it's all put in place so we can make everyone's living better. So that's what interests me about construction management. And also just the fact that, you know, you have to build amazing places that you normally think, you know, it's like, oh, it's just kind of here, you know, and you just kind of step in and walk through. And then you start to think, well, every little detail, every light fixture, every anything, you know, in this building, I don't know, those closets, uh, the drywall, you know, whatever. It's every little detail is, you know, thought of and it's accounted for and there's hundreds of people that come in and, you know, actually physically build it and there's probably hundreds that go into, you know, designing it. So it's really amazing and there's a lot of time and effort put into this. It's people's careers, you know, like many, many people's careers. There's, you know, the project manager, there's the client and then there's the engineering and architectural side of it. So it's all, it just kind of comes together and just makes this amazing project. So that's kind of my major. I don't know about you guys, but I can never get these damn lamps to like stand up straight. Like you get them, you know, really cheap. They're like 10 bucks, but you know, I guess that's what you expect, you know? And it's like these little twist rods that kind of twist together. 
But yeah, and it's not the cord that's pulling it either. This just, shit just won't stand up straight. Like, I swear, look at that. It has like a tilt. Apparently the new hipster trend is coffee shops that serve deconstructed coffee, which is literally, they'll give you like the espresso and then the milk and then like the sugar all in like little separate like things. And then you have to like mix it and make your own coffee. So it's basically like you're paying to do the work to make the coffee. It's really funny. But uh, yeah, apparently it's pretty hip right now. I have way too many coats and I need to get rid of them actually a lot, like a lot of them. Cause I only wear like three. You guys always see me in my leather jacket. It's like my go-to jacket whenever it's cold out. Today I decided to wear just a scarf though because I've noticed that if I keep my neck warm, I can wear it like, you know, just a, like a long sleeve and I'll still be fine in terms of like, you know, cold, coldness or whatever. Unless the wind's blowing, then I have to like wear a jacket. It's really sunny, so that's a plus. So everything's gonna be melting off, but then it's all gonna turn into like slush and kind of just ugliness. Is that paint on my fucking table? Oh my god, McKenna, if you ruin my table with your crafts, I'd be so mad. This better come off. McKenna and her sorority sister Callie, which you might see in a later vlog, they're very into crafting, as all sorority girls are. <laughs> um, but anyways, she's actually pretty good at it. But anyway, so they always craft on my table because we've got like two couches here and then like my table and it's glass so it's kind of easy to clean off. And I would say don't get paint on my damn table and <clears throat> don't paint on my table. Did I not shut that? I didn't see that. Fuck, I did it again. I did it again. I always do this thing where like I do like the finger banging in my videos or whatever that is. Yeah, I need to stop that because it's a bad habit. Anyways, so you guys want to see me rap? I don't want to be the one, but I want to, if you got to be the one. So this is my kitchen. I hope you enjoyed that. I tried also writing uh, send nudes on the snow cover, but uh, it went over. Because I was hoping like when someone would get home, they'd like open this up and see the message, but it snowed more, so. Dang. Got him again. I don't know actually why I have two hairsprays. It's called Big Sexy Hair. It's actually really strong. What I do is uh, I just like, form it to the way I want it using like a hair dryer and then just go tch -tch -tch. and then now it's like invincible to any <laughs> wind or anything you can throw at it that's why I like gel I don't like gel because um it really makes your hair like the wet look you know like this is like dry but it's like formed so and then also gel is like when you move it it kind of moves with it because you can reshape it but hairspray, it's like you get it perfect and then you just kind of boop. That's what I do for my hair, if you guys were wondering. I just did it again. Oh, and I did it again. Sorry. <laughs> this is Mitchell's ice cream, which it looks pretty damn good. I, I Chocolate ice cream is what I like. Anyone who likes vanilla ice cream, like, what? what are you doing with your life? Come on. Vanilla tastes like ass. Like, let's be honest. Like, and people who eat vanilla ice cream generally put chocolate syrup over the vanilla. So it's like, why? Why not just get chocolate to start out with? I don't know. Just lock my door right there so no clowns can get in. <laughs> I'm kind of glad that phase is over. That was really creepy. Remember when that clown epidemic was a thing where like people would dress up in like clown costumes and run around and try and like, I don't know, with like an axe or something, just something really weird and like, you know, like you can go to jail for that. You know what I mean? That's like almost like, like you didn't assault anyone yet, but I don't know. It's like you're planning to and it's just really creepy because you have a mask on and People can't like tell your intentions because you're wearing that mask. And now, you know, they probably put all the clowns out of business that were actual clowns for kids parties. So, you know, thanks for that. Thank you for sticking around and watching guys. It means a lot to me. If you guys have a great 2017, so watch out for my videos. Click that little bell up in my channel to receive notifications for my channel so you know exactly when I post. And I will see you guys in the next one. I know this might sound crazy. Been thinking a lot about you lately. Oh, I'm not trying to sound big.